Happy Valentine's Day to me. Lord have mercy. All right. So, to go along with the trends of the... Not one, but two. I got the Mini Maker Griddle. And then I also got the Mini Maker Waffle Maker. Um, I wanted the pink Waffle Maker, but it is sold out. So, I got this. I... I won't go into it. I probably am embarrassing myself. I also got this. I probably will return it. I have not used any of these yet. So what I do have, um, I could show you. I put it on my Instagram, but I have one of those Proctor Silex um, toast makers. And I use I use that a couple times before purchasing these, but I'm going to go ahead and break these in today. And today I'm going to make I'm going to use the griddle, and I'm going to I have some leftover taco meat because it was Ludie's birthday yesterday, or his birthday dinner. We always they get to choose what they want for dinner, and he chose tacos. And so I'm going to use some of that leftover taco meat. I have taco meat here. This is Italian sausage because. We are going to, I am going to make the heart-shaped pizzas tonight for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to make that. So I have this taco meat that's left over. I have some beans that are left over. I've got some sour cream and I've got some salsa reno. So I'm going to make some tacos on the griddle. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I have already turned this puppy on. It is heating up. I did wipe it down. Um, I did actually read, well, skimmed the instruction manual. And I also got these little street tacos. Um, so I'm going to use those on here. There might be a little bit of overflow, but I'm not too concerned. I don't want to do a straight up review because I think it's kind of hard. I mean, like, it's one thing if I'm taste testing something, but it's another thing if I have not even used a product for at least a few different sessions. So I'm not going to do a review. I'm just going to show you my little first experience with my virginal thingy me jigger, my virginal mini maker. And. I think it's so the light goes off when it's ready. So, um, so I'm going to I'm gonna, I want to assemble my stuff so it's not a hot nightmare. Ooh, it is hot. I can feel it. It's warm. I think this would be so fun to take camping. I'm going to spray it. This, whoops. I'm also going to spray my plant. Um, this is avocado oil. Got it from Costco. So now I'm going to put this on. I can already hear it sizzling. Sizzling. Now I'm going to take some of my meat, and this is um, steak and pork. Steak and pork. We got it from our local uh, Mexican market, and then I'm going to take a little bit of beans. I think I'm going to wait with the salsa. I think I'm just going to top that at the end. I may be putting too much on. And then lastly, some cheese. Can't go wrong with cheese. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I was thinking about putting cheese down first, but... Alright, so now I'm going to close it. I don't know if I'm supposed to push it down or not, but now I need to let it go. Alright, so now the light went off again. Whoops. Now the light went off again. I don't think that means it's done. I think it just means it was heating back up. I'll, I'll let's take a peek. Ooh, mmm. There's even some burnt cheese on the top. That looks good. Oh my gosh! Look at that cheese. Look at that cheese. Yum. I'm just gonna take that right off. So let's take a look at the bottom. Ooh, the bottom looks good. You know, I'm gonna just take a piece of meat here and see if it's done. Oh my gosh, the meat's hot. That centerpiece isn't as hot, so let's just leave that for a minute. All right, now I think we're ready. I'm going to take this one off. 
and I'll show you the bottom. Hmm, so you could fold it up like a taco or eat it like a tostada. There's the bottom. Put a little dollop of sour cream on there. Are you taking a shower or do you want to try one? Here, so look at that. I like how they get crispy like that. Do you want any more, Frank? What kind do you want? Bean and cheese? Regular? So at this point, the little taco maker thing gets pretty repetitive. It's, you know, beans and cheese, meat and beans and cheese, that sort of thing. You know the drill? So I just made a couple more and we had them for lunch. Brunch. It was perfect. Very easy. And the cleanup was actually pretty easy too. Even though there was some cheese on there, uh, cleanup was very easy. So it was, it was fun. It was a nice fun little valentine's surprise um i was i did get some cookie dough that i was going to put on there but we decided to have dessert that night or tonight so i just nixed that and i'll do it another time so i may do some different stuff on here but this is what i did today and i would call it a smashing success happy happy valentine's day all right it's valentine's day today so i've got my Valentine's thing on and I also have <laughs> Yikes Here's my Valentine's brunch From my dash maker This one is just a bean taco, but look how crispy it got on the bottom Mmm I've made four or five of these now and I think now I've got it down to kind of a timing science so, um, I mean, again, I just got this thing today, so I can't give like a grand review on it. But I, at first when I saw the griddle, I thought, what are you going to do with a griddle? And then I, oh, sorry, you're sideways. And then I watched some different reviews <clears throat> on them and was like, oh, I see what you can do with the griddle. You can do some different stuff. It doesn't all have to be the waffle maker. I mean, I think the big thing is these chaffles. Um, but this is, this is fun. This would be fun for camping or I just want to go camping it'd be fun for camping it'd be nice even to take to a hotel if you want to save on a little bit of food oh it's Frank's coffee to save on a little bit of food um, and fire up your your um, your little grill I mean I was talking to Frank and I we both agreed that you would need a lot of them if you're going to feed an army most of the hotels now too you don't even have the breakfast, so um, you can make an egg in it. But these little street taco things, these are awesome. And what I started to do instead of spraying the actual dash machine is I sprayed the taco and then put it in there. And that's been working like a charm. The crispy edges are just yummy, just yummy. So this is the brunch and then a little later I'll be making pizzas because we've, I don't know how many years I've been doing it, the heart-shaped pizzas. Maybe it was two years ago I filmed a video. I'll link it, whatever, here or here. I don't know. Maybe I'll even link it, you know, down below. But um, that's been a tradition and I don't want to stop it. Other than that, no real plans for Valentine's Day for us. Frank and I did something on Friday for a little bit. And then last night we had the family over instead of Sunday dinner today. We had Sunday dinner last night um, and had the ta like the tacos that I said uh, and played a game. It was a fun game, like you put your phone up here and it gives a topic and the people on your team have to try to, or like it'll say um, Darth Vader and you have to say like, Luke, I, I am your father. And then the other people have to guess Dark Darth Vader. So it was, it's fun, we played it before. That was good fun. And Ludi wanted almond bars for his birthday instead of a cake, so I made those. I'll show you those. They're really good. My friend Jody made these years ago, um, 
and I remember being at her house sneaking one because I loved them so much. They were really good. Um, I think I do have to get my little thing out of my dash maker, so I'll be quiet. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, yum. This might be the best one yet. So I'm going to put a little bit of crema on here. And some salsa. And then Frank can squeeze his lime on there. So here is one of the heart-shaped pizzas. This is a olive and turkey pepperoni. This is a pizza for Frank. It is shaped like, I don't know, Texas, was it Brazil, Africa? I don't know my continents. Anyway, uh, this was one for Frank. This has anchovies on it. I made a sausage one. I tried to do a shortcut and not oil the pan because then, you know, the the dough shrinks back and it's stuck in the pan. So, but beyond that, we our sewer also backed up downstairs. So, it's a great day today. Mr. Pajama Day. Say happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Pia, you can say hi for once. Uh huh. And so. I did end up making that strawberry shortcake, so I'm glad I didn't make the cookies earlier. And after bleaching my entire floor after the plumber guy came, it was a nice treat. Hope you had a great day. Peace be with you.